Hey guys! So, I recently took a trip to Andalusia, which is the southernmost region of Spain. Um, my friends and I went on a large bus tour with about 50 other people, and we stopped in the cities of Cordoba, Sevilla, and Granada. Now, Andalusia is really known for being, like, traditionally Spanish, much more, the, much more so than Madrid or Barcelona or really, like, the entire northern region of Spain. It's a lot more similar to, honestly, the rest of Europe and a lot of big cities there. But Andalusia, it's kind of hard to describe, just really has this unique Spanish flavor to it. Uh, it's lively, it's fun, I had an absolutely awesome time, and I cannot wait to show you guys. So the first stop is Cordoba. Welcome to Cordoba, the city with the warmest temperatures in all of Europe during the summer months. That's one of the reasons the buildings here are built so closely together, to provide shade on the streets. To give you a bit of history, in the 8th century, Cordoba was conquered by invading Islamic armies, and it's been estimated that by the 10th century, Cordoba was the most populous city in the world. During these centuries, the city was a predominantly Muslim society, but it returned to Christian rule in 1236, which means that the city has many unique buildings which share both Islamic and Christian architecture. made it to Cordoba, Spain. I'm standing here with the Cathedral de Cordoba in the background. It's pretty impressive. First built as a mosque, then converted later into a cathedral. So we've been in the city about an hour. It's very warm, even though it's November, and very beautiful. With tight, orange tree-lined streets and whitewashed buildings. It's pretty amazing so far, and we're about to go into the cathedral, so should be pretty cool. Gracias. Once inside, you can really see just how unique this building is. It was originally built as a small Christian temple, but divided into Muslim and Christian halves when the Muslims conquered Spain in 711. So this arrangement only lasted 73 years until the Christian half was purchased by a Muslim leader who had it demolished and built the Grand Mosque of Cordoba over it. Then, Cordoba returned to Christian rule again in 1236, and the building was converted into a Roman Catholic church. But luckily, instead of destroying the mosque, which would have been the custom, they realized how beautiful it was and left the structure intact, and instead inserted a cathedral right into the center of the mosque. Since the early 2000s, the Spanish Muslims have lobbied the Catholic church to allow them to pray in the cathedral. But so far, they've been rejected by both the Spanish government and the Vatican. Personally, I hope they're successful one day so that everyone can share this building as it truly is unique and amazing. After the cathedral, we had an hour or so before our bus left, so we decided to wander the streets, where I had my first Segway experience thanks to this nice local. Hey girl! Watch, she's gonna take off on your Segway! <laughs> Coming to the end of our Cordoba tour, it was short, very sweet, and now we're gonna get some candy, jump back on the bus, and then it is off to Sevilla. Let's go! Click on the video in the center of the screen to come along with me to Sevilla, where many agree is the city to experience the most authentic version of Spain.